Hey guys, it's Nick here. Um, now, a few weeks ago I picked up some stuff and I was going to post a video blog and I forgot all about it. So, um, uh, yeah. So the day after I made that video blog where I was on the ferry, um, I did get some games. Um, and I got one cool thing. Um, well, first of all, I, I, this is quite a collector's item. In fact, it's the second one I've ever seen in real life. Um, is that I got a Game Boy complete in box. And how much? Let's look at the price there. If you can't read it, it's $9.98, so it was only $10. Uh, half price books, if you have one around you, you should go to it if you're into the retro stuff. They have all that stuff there for low prices. I mean, I don't go there for books, I go there for fucking games. Cause it's like a thrift shop for games. Um, and I'll sh now you might think, oh, you just got the box. You didn't actually get the Game Boy. Well, this begs to differ. I mean, look, I mean, I have, you got um, the manual, and I kind of got my greasy fingers on it, which sucks. Um, and you got the Game Boy, and this, oh, oh sorry, you guys, I, I wasn't holding it up high enough. But yeah, you got the manual. And then you got the Game Boy, um, and the screen works perfectly. I mean, it, it's awesome. Um, now I don't know what the boxes looked like for the different colored Game Boys. Um, I believe there was like a reverse colored one, like this, like all the white parts here were black and stuff. I, actually, that's the Game Boy I'm looking for. So if anyone does have one, they want to donate to me. Hey, be my guest. Now I do have a red one around here, but the screen stopped working. Yeah. Or there's like it, it's, it, it works, but like the screen's like screwed up. So I'd have to get that fixed or something. And then I got these exclusive headphones from Nintendo, which are cool. Um, I'm never going to use them though, because I'm going I, I, to. If I put those broke or something, I don't know where I would get another one. Now I did test them and they do work, so that's really cool. Um, now the box is supposed to come with two things. That, like it says it comes with four things. Um, two of them I, two of them it did come with, and two of them it didn't come with. Um, the box here it says Tetris Game Pack. It doesn't have that, but I already have that. Headphones for digital stereo sound, which is what I just showed you. Video link cable for simultaneous multiple player competition, which is what um, it didn't come with, but I already got that from around here somewhere, so that's okay. Then four AA batteries, which we're already in, and they're Energizer, I think. Let me see. Let's see what Nintendo prefers, or preferred back then. I don't know if they use different stuff now, but... I mean, now they just use charge, charge stuff, so that's cool. Oh, they're Panasonic's. I don't know if these are old-ass batteries or not, but they kind of look like it to me. So, but yeah, Game Boy works perfectly. Um, it's like new, and it was only 10 bucks. So that, that was really awesome. I mean, what a deal, man. What a deal. I mean, I, I never actually thought I would get one in the box. I mean, because I haven't really seen much of them, but yeah, definitely worth ten bucks, wouldn't you say? Um, then the other two things I got were Wolfenstein for how much? I got the same place as I did the Game Boy. Um, can't really see it, but it says six ninety eight, so that was seven bucks. What a damn deal, man! How price bucks, man? Um, yeah, you gotta go there if you want cheap games. Um, uh. I completed this game, and I couldn't believe it when I saw Hans Gross in there. It's like the first boss from Wolfenstein 3D is in this game. Holy shit. Um, you don't actually see Hitler in the game, which kind of sucks. I, I was hoping I'd get to kill him in the robotic suit thing. But yeah, Hans Gross actually ends up... Well, I don't know. If you guys don't want to be spoiled, you might want to skip ahead a little bit the video. But Hans Gross ends up becoming, becoming the final boss. So, um, which I think... I completed the game and it said I unlocked a cheat mode, so I go to it, it's not really a cheat mode, all it will let you do is you can have all the characters have pumpkin heads. Yeah, I know, it's weird, right? Um, and then you got a thing that will give you $1,000, and then you got all weapon upgrades, and that's it. Now maybe you get some more cheats for completing the game on harder difficulties. I completed it on the easiest difficulty, so maybe that's why, but I don't know. Um, and I, I know there's a way to actually edit the game and make it so you are invincible, but I don't really like doing that. So, that's cool. Then, 
I got something pretty rare. I actually never thought I would get this either. I'm seriously surprised. But I got Wolfenstein 3D for the 3DO. Uh, now, if you have the Mac version, you're not missing much. It's pretty much the same exact thing. There are some slight differences, but or not, they're pretty much the same exact thing. And this game was developed on a Macintosh. So, I mean, like this version was developed on a Mac, so, yeah. Um, so, that's cool stuff and all. But now I need to get something a little more serious. Um, well, a friend of mine, um, y you guys, if, if you've been subscribed to me since like the beginning, you're probably only the only ones that we're going to know. Um, but AJ Comics has, he's hacked my friend's account, and not by phishing, he's actually, my friend says that he didn't even give out his password or anything, so. And I know what both the guys look like, so, I mean, I know my friend's not just, not him, so, um, but he hacked his AIM account and his Facebook, and, but he, my friend got those back, it's all right, but I, I, ha I do have a great fear that he's going to come after me next soon. I haven't done anything to this guy, but, um, now he can go ahead and say that I did, but, um, Anyways, if you guys, you know, see my account suspended or something, that means he hacked it and uploaded some porn videos. That's what happened the last time, except it was a different guy, and I wasn't hacked. I was just stupid and gave out my password, but, um, uh, anyways, I just want to let you guys know that because, you know, in, in case something bad happens to my account, and you're like, oh, where'd he go? Why is he suspended? Well, that's probably the reason. But that's alright, you guys can add me on Steam, whatever you want, I mean, I'm always on there. And, um, I changed my password, so, I mean, I, I don't know. But I just thought I'd let you guys know in case something does happen. Um, he, actually, the AJ Combs has not been bothering my friend for a while. Um, but, you know, you, you can't be too sure. So, I'm, I'm, I am kind of scared here. Um, another thing is... Uh, last year I went to the Space Needle and filmed the New Year's thing. I don't know for sure if I'm going to go down there. I talked with my dad about it last, um, last night. And, you know, unless I can actually get my license before then, which is very unlikely, but if I can, um, I have to wait till the 19th because that's when I got my permit. I have to have it for six months. So, when I, so at the 19th, that's when I can actually go take the tests and stuff. Maybe they'd let me do it now since it's the sixth month, but I don't know. It will be exactly six months still on June 9th, or on December 19th. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, when I get my license then, my mom will let me drive her car down there, I'm sure. But um, I don't really feel comfortable driving in, like, horrible weather. I don't know if the weather's going to be horrible. Last year it was kind of raining a little bit, but then it stopped when I started filming, so I was just really lucky there. Um... So yeah, I'll see if I can, you know, tape it. I would really love to do it. Um, so, and then my dad, I don't, I don't know if he was saying this just for excuse not to take me or something, but um, he was like, oh, well, they're complaining that's like too much money or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, you know. We'll, I'll, if, if I can give you guys an update on that, I, I will truly do it. My Die Hard review, I did work on that a little bit. And I'll, be, I'll admit, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have been a little lazy on it. I haven't worked on it much. I do try, I'm going to try getting it uploaded by, like, like before the end of the year, so definitely by this month, but, um, like I said, you guys are going to be greatly disappointed, and I, I mean, I, I wish I could have, like, done some better stuff, but I don't have, I don't have, like, awesome software and stuff, but I did read off of a script, so that's, I mean, that's a plus, I never did that before, um, but, um, I mean, my next review will definitely be a lot better. I don't know what I'm going to do next, but, um, uh, probably, um, Dirty Harry. I don't know. I, I'd have to get, or I was actually thinking probably Mad Max for the NES since it's such a crappy game. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but I will try, um, get this upload to you guys. I, um, like I said, I don't think I did the best job on it, but I've worked on it so much, I am not. I don't really want to go back. So I'd have to start all over again, then it would take, like, another, you know, would take a long time to make. Um, and because I've been promising this to you guys since, like, June or something, so it's been, like, six months. Um, but, yeah, I, I promise I will upload it. I mean, and by the way, if I ever say I promise, you could, you know, mark my words. You know, feel free to hold me to my promises, because... 
if I promise something, I want to be honest about it. Like, if I say I'm going to upload some, fuck yeah, I'm going to upload it. I mean, so, unless I say otherwise or something, then that's another thing. But I don't have any doubts about, um, or I don't have any thoughts at all about not uploading Die Hard's review. But it is a good game. Not many people really recognize that. And a lot of gamers think it's a bad game just because the Nintendo nerd said it was bad. So... You know, and it's it's pretty much what he says go. Now I do like I do like ABGN. I like Irate Gamer. I don't know we kind of rips James off and stuff, but you know, um, yeah. I mean, some of those fans of the Nintendo nerd have to realize that sometimes he's joking about that stuff. Sometimes he's just you know he doesn't really mean that stuff. So. I just thought I'd say that. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll work on Die Hard a little bit tonight. Um, or today, if I don't know. Um, I it's just my big problem is just the lack of just I, I'm just too lazy to work on it. It's my biggest problem. I and whenever I try working on it, I did do another part of it like a few days ago. Then it's like then it's like I don't know what else to you know say or whatever. So, but um, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna show. I, I kind of do show you guys how to get the best ending of the game. So. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. So it's kind of actually like Aqualon Game Reviews where he does the review of the game at first, then he does a walkthrough of it. That's kind of what that is, the video. So, um, But I'm still considering only a review. I'm just giving you guys a little thing on how to get the best ending of the game. That's all I was doing. Um, I was going to do a playthrough of it, then I was like, oh, well, if I'm going to use save states, because for me that's kind of necessary to beat the game. Korncheck, he didn't use save states that I know of. So he... No, so I don't think I should do a playthrough of it if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna cheat. Um, I I I do have a little goal though for that game is to try and complete it on advanced. Um, I don't know if that's even possible, but uh, I mean you can edit the ROM or whatever. From, you can look at the ROM or whatever and edit the health or whatever, so you always have full health or something. Um, but yeah, I will upload it by um, December. I I guess I promise on that, unless I say otherwise. If I say not, then, I mean, be prepared for that. But yeah, I will try uploading it um, probably before Christmas. Um, maybe I will upload on Christmas as a Christmas present. But to be honest, I don't really think I did the best job on it. I, I think you guys will like it, but it's probably not the best thing I've ever done. Um, so that's, that's all I can tell you guys. I, I don't know. So... Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, um, and I'm almost at 900 subscribers, and like, once again, I want to thank everybody who subscribed to me, um, you guys honestly are, you know, you guys, I do honestly appreciate you guys, you know, taking time out of your day to watch my videos, even though they're not all that good, and, uh, yeah, so, yeah, this NES game I'm doing music to, though, um, I'll post the music if the game gets released. If it doesn't, because my friend's thinking about not doing it, because it's such a hard, it's, he said it's like extremely hard to program something, I don't know if that's true. Now I am learning 6502, so, which is what the NES used for programming, so, I mean, I wanted to make my own sound driver, so technically I will have made Bami Tracker, I mean, except just a different way, and you can use it with the program you already have on your computer, you can use Notepad, that's what's going to be if I do make a music driver, that's the program I'm going to use to make the music because that's how they did it back then. They used text editors and stuff, so Notepad is one of them. So, uh, and also, if, if you guys are fans of Jero Wintel, he gave me all his 8 bit music, well, except for Commodore 64, but he gave me his Game Boy, Game Boy Color, um, NES, Sega Master System, he gave me all of those source files, and he said it's okay to distribute them, so if you guys do want them, um, it, my act, my friend actually does have a site for it, so I might post a link or something. He, he posts all the source codes there, so it's pretty cool. So anyways, just thought I'd tell you guys all that stuff. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.